Hi guys, this is Tash. Okay, I'm doing a standing video today because I can't be bothered bringing the stool in here. Um, hi, I just had a shower. It's early Saturday morning. Not that early, it's 9.30. Sorry my hair's a mess. Not that sorry. Not really sorry, just pretending. Um, okay, let's just get on with things. Um, I haven't finished since last time I saw you. Here is my little pingy. Actually, I made this for Tim, so it's Tim's little penguin. Um, he is the proud penguin from Mill Hill. And I showed you a whip of him last time, and now he's finished. He's got his magnet on the back. And he currently lives up on the whiteboard in Tim's office. So I'm happy with him. He's so cute. I love his bow tie. I made a lot of mistakes on him. A bit of unpicking happened, but there he is. What a cutie pie. Proud penguin. Um, so I had one finish, and I had six starts. And I'm planning a few new starts because I finally got my picture this plus package. Yay! Um, yay! Um, and I got a gift. I got a present, a Christmas present. This is from... I didn't ask her if I could talk about it. This is from a very kind person who I've been friends with for a while. And she sent me a beautiful Christmas gift and I feel terrible because I haven't sent anything to anyone. <laughs> um, and I also don't even have a tree to hang this on this year. But I definitely have a place in my house to hang it so I can see it all through Christmas. And I really love it. And thank you so much to the person who gave this to me. And she wrote me a lovely card. And now I can hang it up. Now that I've shown you. I've been waiting to show you guys. Isn't that pretty though? I mean, it, the, the effort it takes to hand make gifts for people. I'm just stunned that anyone would do it. A little pincushion. It's so sweet. I need to make some. I need to make some ornaments. I might do that for next year you know, to give to people. I've been making those Mill Hill ones, but I want to give something to my stitchy friends. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just go on to the starts because that's all I... I want to do the starts so I can get to the Picture This Plus fabric because that is what I'm most excited about. So I had six starts. On Monday I had an RDO from work and I made the most of it. I started Shroom Hilda by Dimples Designs. I've shown you all this before. She's so cute. Um, and it's a very underwhelm- these are all underwhelming starts, okay? I didn't get very far on them. So there is my little piddly start, just a bit of purple in the middle. Uh, this is 32 count natural linen, that's the colour I decided to go for. I think I only had one person who thought the looking glass would be better. And I did give it a lot of thought, and in the end, I've gone with this, and I might regret it in the end, but we'll see. So yeah, so <laughs> my needle minder is a dog reading the newspaper. I made this from a piece of wood from Pork Chop Show. Um, and I thought since I have an anthropomorphic mushroom, I may as well have an anthropomorphic dog as the needle minder. So that's start number one. Start number two was Silver Medieval Sampler. And I ended up going with the River Sticks fabric. Um, this is 32 count, opalescent River Sticks, Belfast from Under the Sea fabrics. And there's my little piddly W that I made for a start. This is another pork shop show needle minder that I made myself. So yeah, I just started the W. Ugh. W. I literally did one thread and then moved on to my next start. There you go, W. That's number two. And I like this fabric. It's nice. It's fun to stitch on. I think I made the right choice with the fabric for this one too, because I like it so far. <laughs> From one thread, it's good. Um, next was, this was something I could have started a long time ago. Um, it was, I've already stitched this one, Bella B from Nora Corbett, but this, the one I started was Bella Butterfly. She's my favourite in this series. She's, there's not much light when I come close. She's my favourite. I just love her green turban and the orange. I love the combination of the green and orange. And she's so freaking hip. I think she's awesome. And here's my pathetic little star. Ta-da! <laughs> um, yeah. And a butterfly needle minder since she's Bella Butterfly. Well, that's another pork chop show handmade job. Ta-da! <laughs> um, I don't know if I enjoy making a million starts in one day because you don't get a lot of progress and you don't feel like you've started it really. This one I have made a lot of progress on because this is the one I've spent the most time on since I started it. 
So after, yeah. Love and Wisdom by The Drawn Thread. I've shown you this many times. I love this very, very much. It says, Wisdom tells me I am nothing. Love tells me I am everything. And I've been working on this pretty much since I started it. I've got down this far. I love it. I love I love anything with specialty stitches in it. So I've got some satin stitch hearts at the top here. Let me see if I can get it closer. Satin stitch hearts. This is a double rice, no, double rice stitch, yes. Um, some, what are they called? Octagonal eyes. Um, more there as well. Uh, is that all? This is um, just, oh, this here is a double back stitch and there as well. And then this is just obviously a running stitch band. And look, it's completely reversible. It's perfect, right? Love it, love it. Um, love it, love it. I'm gonna work on this until I get down to the end of about here where it says wisdom tells me I am nothing and then I'll stop. For now, I can't, this is the kind of thing that I can't put down. I could just stitch on this until it's done. Love it, love it. Did I mention I love it? I really, I do, I love this. Oh. Um, the next thing I started was the Singer Sampler series and I'm sure everybody's seen this, quite a few people have stitched this up. This is only the first chart, I do have the rest. It's all kitted up. I started this on one over two on 40 count soft ivory and that's my world's most pathetic start. Yep, um, and I used a bicycle, Lady on a Bicycle Needle Minder because it reminds me of In the Sound of Music when they're all riding their bikes. So this is just the corner of the dough. Yeah. So very exciting. Another amazing, inspiring start, I'm sure. My phone's ringing. Okay, I'm back. Phone calls in the middle of the video. Oh, now my iPad fell over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've got a busy weekend coming up. Uh, too many people want my time and all I want to do is sit and stitch. You can see my pyjama pants. They've got cupcakes on them. Um, now you can't see my face. Awesome. Yeah, we went out last night to a street food festival, which was really fun. But I had to rush home so I could play games with one friend who wants to play games with me. And then this morning I get woken up by my nephew who wants to play games with me. And then today I have to go and get picnic chairs from my parents' house because I'm, I'm going to a picnic with Tim's family tomorrow. Tonight we have to go to Tim's friend's birthday party. This afternoon I have to babysit my sister's kids for a couple of hours. This morning I have to clean the house because I can't do it any other time this weekend. Um, and then tomorrow night Tim wants to go back to the street food festival. <laughs> so I have no time this weekend. I hate being busy. It makes me crazy and all I want to do is stitch, obviously. <sighs> Sorry, complaining. Okay, and the last new start I had <laughs> was the Strawberry Sampler, uh, so much glare, there it is, the Strawberry Sampler by The Needle's Praise. I've shown you this before, I know, I really love it. Um, I said that I thought this would be fast, it's not going to be fast and I'll tell you why. So here's what I did, here's what I started, just one little band. Um, but what's cool about this, it's it's just a running stitch sampler, but, but it's completely reversible. Look, it's perfect. I didn't think I could do that. I thought, I thought that would be beyond me. It took me a few tries to get it right, okay? Um, I messed it up the first time, the back wasn't right, because I wasn't paying attention, and I thought to myself, I don't care if the back of this isn't reversible, and then I changed my mind, and I decided I did care, because it was actually becoming easy to make it reversible. It takes a bit of thought, you have to plan the path you're going to take and you have to make sure you always come back to fill in the gaps because you just do running stitch, which is like a back stitch where you miss every other back stitch. Then you come back and fill in the gaps. Um, so yeah, it takes planning for everything you do. You have to plan and you have to come back and fill it all in. So all I did was that very, very top band. This next band just looks enormous, um, you know, and I was going to start it and then I thought, I just don't have the energy because this takes a lot of concentration 
And when I get home from work in the evening, one thing I don't want to do is concentrate. I just want to stitch and have fun. So I will get back to this for sure, but it won't be the quick thing that I thought it would be. Um, but I do like it. So there are my six um, starts. And if I had had this package last weekend when I was starting things, I would have had probably three more, I think. So I haven't opened this yet. I have just pulled it out like this to see it for colours. What's in here? Just an invoice. Okay. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Only $200. $203 for all this. So, so let's look at the colours. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Alright, yeah, I thought this would be ale. This is ale, 28 count Lugana, obviously a fat eighth. Um, this didn't have a plan especially, I just wanted to see the colour, and it's a lot more yellow in my hand than it looks on the screen, but it's good, I like it. It's yellow and grey, I guess I call it, brownie, yellow, brownie, grey. It's good. Um, I got this just to do smalls on, I guess. I got Lugana because I thought I'll probably stitch over one. And I like it. Uh, ancient. Ah, yes, excellent. Ancient. I got this for a reason. This is also Lugana. It's 28 count fat quarter. Lugana. Oh, that's good. I like this. Yes. So I got this for a restart of Trade Winds. Actually, you know what? I can grab it. Trade Winds by Teresa Wensler. So I started this a long time ago, long time ago, and it just, it's a, it's a kit. So here's the kit fabric and I don't like it. Um, I made a mistake somewhere, somewhere in all this water I've made a mistake and I would have to unpick the whole, all the water and, oops, <laughs> I would have to unpick all the water to find the mistake, but instead of that I've decided I'm just going to restart it and now I've got this much nicer fabric. I'm really happy. I think it'll look perfect on here. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I like it. So yeah, I will have to restart this pretty soon then actually, I think. So I have, so when I show it the year of whips, it won't, I won't go, yeah, this is how much I've done, nothing. Because it has to actually be a whip to count the year of whips. So I will have to work on this before the end of this year. Yeah, but I like that color, that's ancient. Isn't that cool? Gotta love Teresa Wensler. I mean, yeah, the detail in this though. Oof. A lot of work. A lot of work. Um, okay. Next. Baroque. 32 count Belfast. I don't even know why I got this. I'm glad I did though. I like it. Wow. That's pretty cool. I feel like I might have had a reason for getting this. But I don't know. Hmm. I like it. It's very cool. It's pretty. It's um, obviously pink, green, and sort of yellowy color. It's very cool. Maybe I just, you know, I, I was thinking I'll just get a few pieces to experiment, you know, just to see what they look like and having my stash for an upcoming start. 32 count Belfast. I don't know. That'll work for something. I like it. Oh, yes. Oh, this is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. Look at this. Wow, this is 40 count Newcastle Cyprium. And it's a fat half. God, that is beautiful. And I got this for something in particular. Oh, I wonder if I can find the chart quickly. Oh, yes. Mermaid's Folly by the Courtney Collection. I have quite a few of the Courtney Collection charts. I love them and I thought it's about time I started one. So, 40 count Cyprian, Mermaid's Folly, I don't think I'll do black, I'll order a cone of very dark brown DMC. Oh, love this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is big. This is a big chart. It's a huge chart. Oh, I love this. It's really nice. Wow. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to start this. This might be a new start pretty soon. Actually, I have to order my cone of DMC. All right, it might not be that soon. 
Love it. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Oops, I can't fold. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Cyprian. Best fabric ever. Love that. Love that. Look at the beautiful modelling on it. That is going to look so good with this. I think it's great. Yeah, it calls for uh, silk in, yeah, a vera soir. It's burnt umber, very dark. Yeah, so I'll get a very dark brown, but I'll probably just use DMC. I think that'll be fine. This, wow. Not sure. Okay, this is Huntress. And I got this. It's 36 count Edinburgh. I got this for Death by Cross Stitch. Um, hmm. Yeah, that colour is pretty accurate. It's quite purple. I think it's more purple than what I wanted. I want red. Let me show you. So this is the colourway I've been going for. Uh, looks too dark there. It's not really that dark. So this is a hank of natural silk from Silks For You. Um, but I got this years and years ago before they had an Etsy shop. $12.50 I paid. <laughs> Um, this is Deep Burgundy, there you go, you can see that colour pretty well there. Yeah, that's exactly what colour it is. Deep Burgundy, 32 count, sorry, Deep Bordeaux, 32 count Murano even weave. See, that's a good colour, but compare that to this. This is very purple, right? I want this colour. I don't want this colour, I want this colour. I'm making a video. <laughs> that's Jim. I want this colour, so I think I'm going to have to write to Jukas and ask her to custom dye me something because this is a beautiful colour but it's not what I want. You can see the difference there, yeah, it's too purple. That's nice though, isn't it? This is, this is nice too. I would use it if I had to. Yeah, that was my plan for Death by Cross Stitch and then when Life After Death came out I thought, forget Death by Cross Stitch, I like Life After Death so much more. Love it. Yeah, I would start it on this, but this is too small. That's obviously why. Um, this is only a fat quarter, and I don't want to stitch over one because there's a lot of back stitch in Death by Cross Stitch, and I think over one on 32 count, you just won't see the delicate details. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Um, so I actually had a different plan for this. If I can find it, it's a mirror. Oh, it's this one. Lady Hera, I love this. Check that out. Do you think that's insane? Do you think that's crazy? What about this? I think they're both good. I think I think the red is a bit better. Ah, oh, she's gorgeous. Do you think that's crazy? I don't know. Because there's none of this dark red in it. There's sort of this lighter red in here inside her dress. But oh, there's so many colors on this. You could put almost any color um, fabric. Love it. And I did, um, no companies have like a real burgundy colour that you can just buy. This was, I thought this was going to be burgundy, it's purple. Um, but on the fabric viewer, say you go there and you look for a burgundy to do a, a fabric viewer of this. There's no burgundy, I've put dark reds behind it. Um, you know, but they, they're all either orangier or purplier than what, what I want. But they, they look good for this. But yeah, I just don't have the confidence that I can order this colour from anyone. So I'm just going to go to Jukas and ask for a custom job. Because I love this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. I'm going to pack this up. Got the fluff. Got threads all over me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of um, fluff on all this picture, this plus fabric. Like dyed bits of fluff or something. It's funny. Not a problem. Just noticing. Love this. Oh, one hank of silk should be enough for death by cross stitch, shouldn't it? Or life after death? I guess I guess they're about the same size. Okay, god, I'm making a mess here. So there's Huntress. Does anyone want a fat half of Huntress? <laughs> no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I like it. It'll be good for something. It's really beautiful. It's a lovely colour. I mean it's so solid and saturated and very nice, it's just not the perfect thing that I want. Okay, next. Phantom. Oh, oh. This is 28 count Phantom. Fat quarter. 
And I saw this and I'm like, oh, that's pretty, that's nice. It's dark purples and greens and blues. That's just what I wanted. But then I saw this. Who wants this nice dark piece of fabric with big white, white blotches in the middle? That makes me angry. You know what? It makes me angry. I think that's a mistake and it should be... It's not going to work for what I want. I just saw it here. Um, the Garden Party by Mirabilia on here. Love it. It's so nice because there's a lot of sort of purple in her dress. There's a lot of purple in her dress. It'll look like nighttime and these orange lanterns will really pop off. I've seen someone stitch it on similar fabric, but not with these white bits. This is not going to work for me. And I'm, I'm actually, it doesn't look like that in the picture. I don't want white bits in my dark fabric. I'm annoyed about that. I am. I'm actually annoyed. It's not their fault, I guess. I'm annoyed. Uh, okay. I like this though. 36 count. Murky. Yeah, that's good. Nice and dark. Don't, I didn't have a plan for this. Just got it to play with. Because everyone's talking about murky, I must have a piece. Put that eight so I can do something pretty good on there. Um, this is a fat quarter of truffle. Hmm. This is a lot pinker than what I expected. This is pink. I thought it would be much a more sort of pinkish brown, but this is pink. That's okay. I like it. I will definitely use it for something. It is very pretty. It's coming out a bit more sort of marbly gray for you. It's pink. Very pink. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's pretty. I'm not unhappy with that. It's just different, but I'm not unhappy. I'm unhappy with Phantom. Um, and last one. What a shame. I should have got more. I wish I had. I had, my cart was full. My cart had so much stuff in it, but then I cut it down to be more sensible. Wren. Um, 28 count, 32 count Lugana. Wren. That's good. I like that. That is not, people said this is sort of grey and washed out, but it looks great to me. This is like pretty much perfect print fabric, what I think of as print fabric. Yeah, it looks greyer on your screen. It's a nice brown. I like it. That's just a fat eighth. And again, I got Lugana so I can stitch over one if I want. I prefer Lugana for over one stitching. Wow, look at that. So much fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, so I can have a few new starts if I want. I can do Mermaid's Folly. I can do Trade Winds isn't a new, isn't a new start, it's just a restart. Mermaid's Folly I could start whenever I want. I could start Death by Cross Stitch, but I think I'll hold out for that perfect fabric. Um, and I'm not going to start Garden Party. I thought I was, but I'm not. Not with that white splotch on it. I'm so disappointed about that. Someone help me cheer up about that. Tell me that it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, I got some new haul. I made an impulse online buy this week. Look at that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous, actually? This picture might be actually a bit, bit, a bit easier to see. This is the, you know, colour rendition of the chart. This was an online chart. I got it from a Facebook group called 12... Kleiner Merk Latches. It's like that. I've been looking at this group for a while because she, um, the designer's name is Jantina and she does the most beautiful designs. Um, she's got this one, she's got a couple of samplers and I just love the colours on this and it's so pretty and it's big. It's 320 by 240. There's 100 DMC colours, look at that. Um, this is called German 1875. Um, on the Facebook page, it's called the Biedermeyer Sampler. I don't know. I just know it's beautiful. So go and check out that Facebook page if you are interested in this. She has this sampler with the most incredible border that I want to buy and do as well. <laughs> 12 Kleiner Merklatches. I butchered that. I know. Twelve. It's 12 little somethings, but I don't know what Merklatches are. Merklatches. Um, so I need to kit that up. That can be another new start. So that's two, right? 
Um, I need to get up past and present because I want to start it. Um, I, Lindsay and I, Pink Stitcher, we're probably going to start this soonish. Lindsay, let's do it on my birthday next year, the 1st of April. We could start this if you're interested. I need to get fabric because it requires a fat half. Uh, clogs, excuse me, clogs for 28 count. And I don't want to go too much smaller because of this hard anger part. You know, if I'm using a number eight pearl on a 36 count fabric, it's going to be really different to on a 28 count fabric. And I need to get it clogs for some weak style works threads that I don't have. So I'm going to kit that up. Lindsay, 1st of April. Um, and I've decided I am going to stitch this before I sell it. This is Peaceful Paradise by Midsummer Night's Designs. I know there are a lot of people out there who love this and who desperately want it. And I understand that. And But I've decided that I do want to stitch it because it's super cute. So I'll start this at some point soon. So yeah, <laughs> that's four upcoming stuff I've got, got to start thinking about as if 30 something whips weren't enough. Okay, and that is it for today, I think. I'm looking at all the stuff that's strewn around me, just making sure I haven't forgotten anything. Oh my God, this place is a mess now. I have forgotten something. I wanted to show you my sewing machine. Um, I learned how to use it this week. It looks like this. Ooh, the whole sewing machine is covered in this print. Um, it's Liberty print, obviously. Theodora, that's the name of the print. Um, I got it for 150 bucks at Spotlight when they had a sale. And I used it this week to sew the edging around all my fabrics. So, like, uh, for example, here. Ta-da! I'm so proud of This is the first one I did. I'm really far away from the edge. But yeah, I just did a zigzag and then a straight stitch. Just to serge the edge. Because I don't have a serging foot. Okay, um, so that's it. I have another video for you guys. I'll probably upload it, uh, upload it tomorrow or in a couple of days. Um, and that is the husband tag that I did with Tim. You would have seen Tim a few minutes ago coming to the room. Um, he's my boyfriend. So I asked him to do the husband tag and he's really been bugging me like to get it done. He really likes trivia. I think he thought he'd do well. He likes a challenge. Um, he keeps saying to me, you can put on Floss Tube. I'm like, why do you want to watch Floss Tube? He's like, I don't know, I just don't mind watching it. So, I think he was trying to study for the husband tag. Um, so I filmed that the other day and I'll put that up in a couple of days. So look out for another video. Um, thanks for looking at all my stuff and I'll see you next time. I've got to walk around here to turn it off. Bye. Oh, you like my shirt? They're boo ghosts. If you play Mario, you know who they are. Okay, bye!